Hey everyone, Hallie Scott here and today I'm going to cover Melt With You by Modern English on the ukulele. And this is actually part two. Uh, I did part one last week while I was on a skateboard and the only thing that we covered was uh, a C and an F chord. And I said then, which is true, uh, you could play a C and an F throughout the entire song and you would still sound like the hero. Still true. Um, and, but I promised to go back and play uh, or teach the uh, intro and slash verse and then the um, the iconic uh, uh, tag where it goes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a quick side note you know how I always say that I don't sing like Pavarotti um, I don't hum like Pavarotti either uh, so I'll try to refrain from doing any more of that but uh, to play the intro, um, what I'm, and the intro just sounds like this. And it's really easy to do, okay? Uh, there's nothing very, very uh, difficult about it. Uh, most of this is going to be played on open strings, with the exception of the very end part where we're going to play an F chord. So, uh, we're going to start with everything open on the second string, and we're going to go the second string open, third string open, fourth string open. Just like that. And then we're going to do this pattern of three, two, three. Again, they're going to be open. Three, two, three. So that together is going to sound like this. And then we're going to put our, our uh, F chord in place, but we're not going to strum it. We're still going to pluck it. So I'm going to take my first finger and I'm going to put it on the second string, first fret, and I'm going to take my second finger and I'm going to put it on the um, fourth string, second fret. That's an F chord, but again, we're not going to strum it. Uh, and we're going, to, we're going to do that exact same pattern of two, three, four, three, two, three. Okay? And when put together, it's going to sound like this. And typically when I play the song, I just play the intro as the intro, and then I go into a strum um, for the, the verse. I don't play the intro during the verse, but you can. You can play what's really nice is you can play however you want. It's your song. Um, so the next thing that we're going to go over is this the, the tag. Um, and there, there are two options to play it here. A very, very basic one, which works just fine and uh, one that is more advanced when we're, we're going to slide around. And the sliding around one sound, sounds a bit more impressive, uh, but it's also a bit more advanced. And, uh, but we're, we're going to muddle through that uh, just the same. And I, 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 quite honestly, I, I muck it up half the time that I play it. Um, so for the first option, we're going to stay right in this little area right here. And whenever we hit the, the fourth string, it's going to be open. Okay. So we're going to hit that open string, and then we're going to put our ring finger on the uh, third string, fourth fret. And then we're going to hit the third string open. Okay, so that part section going to sound like this. Okay? And then we're going to hit that open string on the fourth fret, or the fourth string again. And then we're going to take our ring finger, instead of putting it on the fourth fret, we're going to put it on the fifth. And then we're going to take our second finger and drop it down to the fourth fret, third string, and then we're going to just pluck that third string open. And that's going to sound like this all together. And one of the reasons that I prefer this method over the sliding one is that when I play this open string here, I can let it ring. So it's going to go... And both of those strings can ring as they're being played open, and it, and it just kind of has that nice lingering sound to it, which I, I really like. The next way to play it, option two, is a bit more advanced, um, and we're going to do some sliding. So for this, I use my, my ring finger um, as the one that's sliding, and I, I play that open fourth string, 
And then I just put my ring finger down somewhere on the second or third fret, it doesn't really matter. And I slide it all the way up to the ninth fret. Now when you're sliding anything, you're going to be either sharp, flat, or on the money. Um, the way to be on the money about 90% of the time or higher is to look where you're going. So when I'm plucking the open string and I'm uh, slapping my third finger down, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing with my left hand. I'm looking, just like I'm driving a car before I turn, I look where I want to go. Same idea, so I'm going to go and I'm going to slide that all the way up to the ninth fret. Once I get to the ninth fret, I'm going to now go take my index finger and put it on the 4th string, 5th fret. So that's going to sound like this. There we go. Just like that. Okay? Um, and so that's that, that first part of it. The second part of it is going to be, uh, I do that same action, and, but instead of stopping at the uh, ninth fret, I'm going to stop at the tenth fret. And then from there, I'm going to transition and play the uh, ninth fret and then back to the fifth fret. So that's going to go. Whoa. Sorry, I hit the seventh fret. Okay, that's the way it should sound. Uh, and together, it should sound like this. That's the way it should sound. Now, I prefer to play it with option one, really because I just like the way those two open strings sound and they can linger. Um, when I'm in the zone, when I'm playing and I've been playing for you know, an, an hour or so, I don't have any problem hitting that slide um, because I'm just concentrating on playing. But uh, the truth is, is, I like this one better, not because it's easier, but because it, it has a better sound. Um, and so, that's really about it as far as today's uh, tutorial. You can put all that together. Um, Moving forward, using all my breath Making love to you was never second best I saw the world crashing all around your face Never really knowing it was always mesh and lace I'll stop the world and melt with you You've seen the difference and it's getting better all the time There's nothing you and I won't do I'll stop the world and melt And there you have it, that's part two of Melt With You by Modern English on the ukulele. Uh, until next week, love each other.